Buried Mood Review. A man wakes up in a coffin. All he has with him is a lighter, a cell phone, and a couple of various other things. And that's all I'm going to tell you, because you really shouldn't know anything else going into this movie. I realize this is no longer in at least most theaters, and it definitely is a movie that you should watch in the theater. I didn't catch it in the theater because my local one never actually showed it. However, it is still, you know, quite recent of a movie, and it does play okay, you know, in the home cinema. Now, the movie is carried by Ryan Reynolds, so it's pretty important that you like him and that his performance is good. His performance is good, and, you know, some people are gonna like his character, some aren't. Ryan Reynolds is usually Ryan Reynolds in movies, you know, he usually cracks jokes and, you know, he does the whole sarcasm thing. I personally thought it still worked well in the movie and, you know, it didn't get to be too comical. It, you know, there is some humor to it, but it's more in the kind of acidic wit kind of way. It's really, you know, you feel with him even when he is cracking jokes. And I think with entirely without jokes, it would have been just too dry. There are other performances, but it's because he calls some people. The writing is pretty good, although at times the film does feel like it is meandering a bit, like it's padding it out to make sure that it reaches the 90 minute mark, which it does. With that said, it tends to be pretty well paced and you tend to be really into the situation. And along the way, new obstacles come up. And yes, this film is indeed filmed from within the coffin. So, you know, if you have really bad claustrophobia or you don't want to spend 90 minutes really close to Ryan Reynolds, yeah, don't watch this movie. The film is quite minimalist in, you know, the only the one actor, only the one location, and the way it's shot, and that does tend to work in the film's favor. All in all, you could call it gimmicky, but it does work as a thriller, and the approach does tend to work. There are some things revealed along the way. Some of them are a bit not that well set up. And you also do have to either just tolerate or agree with the commentary. And here's a hint, it's not exactly pro... America's handling of certain things recently. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.